In today's video, we're going to talk about the decision on the public charge rule. If it's something you want to know, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Monde. Good morning, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Monde. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Uh, if you are new here, we talk about immigration. I help newcomers, permanent residents, uh, even a US citizen here in the United States of America. Sometimes we talk about business, we talk about finance, we talk about other stuff, give advice for uh, newcomers here in the United States of America. But today we're not going to talk about business, finance, none of those stuff. We're going to talk about immigration. And you know, like I said in the introduction, today we're going to talk about the decision on the public charge rule. So if you've been watching my video, you know I made a video probably a week ago uh, about a judge that blocked the public charge rule uh, in New York. And now we are waiting for a decision, okay? So there is a reason why that judge um, blocked the public charge rule. Uh, he said um, people uh, in New York, some of uh, people who are affected by the public charge on uh, uh, got coronavirus, but they cannot go to the hospital. Therefore, there is a possibility they will spread the virus around, which is not good for uh, anybody, okay? Because of that, he blocked the public charge rule temporary, okay? Now, on Tuesday, last Tuesday, the federal court uh, made a decision on the uh, public charge uh, rules. So they say that only applicants in New York, Connecticut, and Vermont won't be affected by this uh, public charge rule during this pandemic. Okay, so before it was a nationwide, it was a block. Uh, the the uh, public charge rules was blocked nationwide. Now. It's only those three states. If you don't live in those uh, three states, you have to keep in mind that you will be affected by the public charge rules. Meaning that if the, your intended immigrant will come to the United States of America on immigrant visa, that intended immigrant will fill up the form of DS on fifty five forty. If your intended immigrant already li already live here in the United States of America, that person will fill up on um, the form of I nine forty four. Okay. If you don't file those forms, chances are you won't get an immigrant visa to come to the United States of America or you won't get your green card on here in the United States of America. So for me, uh, I think even if you are subjected to the public charge rule, me personally, I think it's better just to go ahead and file the form in case, you know, they ask you, you know, you might think like you are not subject to the public charge rule, but you will go to the interview. They'll be like, you know what, based on this, based on that. You have to fill up either I-944 or either DS-5540. If you don't fill up those forms before you go to the interview, now you have to fill them up and that can delay the whole process. So basically, that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Uh, only applicant on uh, uh, those three states I just mentioned, uh, New York, and uh, Connecticut, and Vermont, won't be affected by the public charge rule during this pandemic. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it, learn something from it. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more video like this one, all you gotta do is click on this. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Monde.